tutorial I'm going to show you how to use a torch system and change the weather and post process and effects so you can make things dark. Here's an example. So everything goes dark, a light turns on, there's a torch on the counter, and we press E, now we have a torch kind of effect. Cool, let's see how this is done. First thing we want to do is create the logic for the weather effects and the post processing. So I'm going to go ahead and delete these and we'll go ahead and we'll make these one by one. Okay, the first thing we're going to put down is a torch. Um, this is an asset we made, uh, you can use any asset and we'll go ahead and add a plant behavior. On the plant behavior, we're going to put a message kill.torch. We're going to also add a speaker component. The speaker component will be um, waiting for a message, and that message will be interact. So when the player presses E, and when the player presses E, it will send out the message saying torch.1.on. Excellent. And we also have a light up here. We added a light behavior. It is a point light. We've added some adjustments here. You can turn it on to see what it looks like or turn it off um, and choose whatever color you want. Uh, and a message to turn on is red.light.1.on or anything that you want in this case. And then you have messages to turn off the light as well. Cool. Next, we're gonna add the weather effects. So we're gonna go to logic and we're going to click weather asset and we'll put that asset down and we'll go ahead and click on that. Click edit logic and here we've got neutral and all sorts of settings that you can check out. Uh, in this case we're going to do custom so we're going to make our own and we're going to turn that light color down to a gray so if we preview it you can see it's a bit darker and you can also adjust the shadow color as well so the shadows are a bit darker as well. And you can do that for um, any shade that you prefer. This one's pretty dark for, for this example, so we'll use this. Cool. Um, and we wanna wait for a message to turn that on and we'll say uh, go dark as the message. Excellent. Now we can add a numpad or any detecting sort of uh, asset and put on a speaker and that speaker will look for the avatar. We'll make the range as small as we need to. Um, you put that at choke points or you can use a message to turn it dark. And the message we send is go dark. Uh, we want to turn off the collisions and we don't want to see the asset. And now if we press tab and if we walk forward you can see it's turned dark. But it's turned dark instantly. We want to fade it so it's nicer transition from day to night. So even though we have the speaker here that says go dark, what we will do is duplicate that. And we'll bring it over here near the weather asset and we're going to change this to a message broadcaster and here we're going to send a message go dark one and we edit the logic and we're going to wait for a message and that message will be go dark so go dark message will send a message in a small broadcast range um, and that will be weather fade. And we'll put the timer as two seconds. You can do it any time. That's how long it'll take to go from, from light setting to light setting. So now when we click tab and we walk into it, you can see it went instantly. That's because we have to change the message on the weather to weather fade as well. So let's test that again one more time. And you can see we've got the nice fade. It took two seconds to go from day to night. Excellent. 
Well, that was easy. Now we've got a torch. Now we use the torch message as torch.1.on. So we'll go ahead and put down a numpad. We'll put it a speaker. We'll get rid of these settings and we'll wait for message. And the message we'll wait for is torch.1.on. When it receives that, we want to send the message to turn on this red light. Actually, no, we want this red light to turn on when it goes dark. Uh, but we want a timer in between when it goes dark and when that turns on. So we'll come back to that in a moment and we'll put on a, we'll put down another numpad and we'll give that a timed event and we'll wait for the message and that message is go dark. So when a message go dark is uh, triggered by our speaker here, it will turn the weather to dark um, then we want to turn the light on. So we'll make that a separate event. So red.light.1.on. So we'll go ahead and put that in here. Red.light.1.on. And we're going to wait three seconds for that event. So we'll go ahead and test that. You can see the weather goes dark. And the light comes on. Fantastic. Now when we pick up the torch, nothing happens. Uh, so we want to go back to neutral. Um, and we also want a spotlight to be on. So that's what we're going to do next. Next, we're going to add a post processing. So we'll go ahead and put that down. Post processing is a bit different from the weather. It overlaps the camera's view. Um, so here, if we go to say psychedelic and we do preview, you can see that um, it does some cool effects. So we're going to go to custom in this case and what we want to do is scroll down to the bottom and we want to play around with the the vignette so that gives us our shadow around the edges like that uh, and you can change it to rounded so it's circle and you just play around with those settings until you're happy with what you want. If you want a really small torch, you can do that. If you want to be able to see a bit more in your rooms, you can do that as well. You can even move this across so you can see uh, more of the settings if the words are cut out for you. And you basically look for the, for the setting that you prefer for your torch. Oh, we'll use this one for now, so that's fine. Um, and we want to wait for message. So that will be the message that we use when we um, pick up the torch, which is torch.1.on. So go ahead and put that on. All right, fantastic. We'll move this aside for now. So if we go and test that out, it should go dark. Red light should come on. And if we press E, We've got our torch. As you can see, it's still got the weather effect, which is the darkness, the nighttime view. So we want to switch that back to neutral when the torch is picked up. So the way we do that is we can duplicate this weather and we'll bring it over here and we're going to change it so it's not weather effect and it's not custom. It's going to be neutral. And we're going to bring it back with the same message as the torch dot one dot on. So now if we press tab and do a quick test on this one, it goes dark, red light comes on. And when we press E, uh, you can see that we turn dark again because this one here we walked into the radius again, so you want to do only once, so that way we can't turn it dark again. Um, and you can see that we didn't get the post-processing effect. So if we go ahead and remove this one, I just want to see what happens. And you can see the post-processing is not working. This is a bug at the moment with the game maker. If I reset the game maker, it will work as intended. So we want to keep this on. So both things happen at the same time. Torch.1.on, torch.1.on. So this will bring it back to a neutral color. 
and this will bring the post processing effects on and if you ever want to bring it back to normal when a torch is placed down or this player hits a certain area of the room all you got to do here is you duplicate the post processing and you change it from custom back to default and then you send a message here to say torch dot off and you will go from this effect to back to normal so it's basically just juggling between the two post processings and the two weather effects for your torch there is also another way to make a torch without the post processing but in fact using lights so I'll go ahead and duplicate that and I'll show you how to do that one as well so we'll get rid of the plant behavior here and we'll get rid of the speaker and we'll make this one a pickable uh, the pickable will be something that you can pick up and it'll be in front of you and for this one here you can get a numpad make it invisible no collisions we'll bring it up to the torch over here and we'll give it a light behavior now this has a light and you can bring down the intensity or change the color um, change the range you want it to be a spotlight so it comes out as a as like a torch effect then you adjust that as you see fit or how you want your torch to look and you can adjust the intensity of it you can uh, do the range so it hits further on the wall and you can change the spot angle so it's narrower or wider uh, for torches you probably want something narrow and you can have like fall off as well and um, you go ahead and you parent those two things together so you can say uh, qq torch one and for this one as well you go qq torch uh, one light and you go to your hierarchy here and you type in qq torch and you want to put the light on the actual torch itself so when you're moving the torch the light moves with it as well so now if we go and test that out you can go ahead it goes night and you go ahead and you press e and now we've got a torch that we can walk around and use uh, you can see the color kind of gets drained using this method which is why i showed how to use the post processing effect which is a little different um, so yeah you could do all sorts of different things here with the torches and lights i hope this has been useful have a great day